Death Parade was one of my first experiences with an anime that wasn't action based and there's probably no better anime in that entire massive category than this one. Hitting the scene in 2015, it's now a must for most anime fans with one of the most unique premises to ever be seen. It plays directly to the human fascination with death, providing an exaggerated yet raw and emotionally real look at where we go once we die. Humans in this world have two possibilities, reincarnation or the void. One sending you back to Earth to take a new form, and the other damning your soul to an eternity of nothingness. This decision is made in pairs, with the newly deceased arriving before Arbiters, inhuman beings of human form who pass judgement through games. Whether darts, air hockey, bowling, or even Twister, the games are designed to bring out the worst in people, using that darkness locked inside of them to determine which is worth of life once more, and which is not. Now, a common theme in these Why You Should Watch videos is comparisons to Cowboy Bebop, and Death Parade is no exception to that rule. In a way, it took the sprawling and separate story episodes formula of anime's Golden Child and perfected it into a succinct and even more meaningful and linear package. It maintains all the appeal of the one episode cast members, letting us get lulled into a sense of camaraderie with the main characters, but at the same time starts to give us glimpses at the cracks forming beneath the surface, especially with some dedicated episodes. It's not a case of things aren't what they seem, but more, things are exactly what they seem like. Keep up and move on. And Death Parade's look at these inhuman workers is the very antithesis to that description. I won't say too much to spoil anything, but for all their differences from humans and all the rules to keep them as stagnant beings, you can see a lot of your own problems in this inhuman afterlife society presented in a way that doesn't push at all. This also doesn't just provide commentary, but a kinship to these characters forced to judge. We're miles apart, but in the end, really aren't so different. This coupled with its unique and excellently timed narrative structure create one of the most impactful and emotional endings you'll ever witness. And that's after the leading episodes take you through an emotional rollercoaster of surprise, acceptance, empathy, terror, and even more. Not a single episode will leave you without at least a twinge of some extreme emotion. I am an unfeeling moody lump of coal and it even made me feel something. It's a pairing of the standard and extreme, playing to the deepest fears hidden within every living creature. Seeing people play these games with the stake of their soul on the line is unrealistic. But even so, the what if that was me thoughts are inescapable. The games are menial tasks, and if not directly things we've done before, at least extremely common and relatable activities. Thinking about the weight of your soul resting on something so trivial as a game of air hockey is one of the smartest decisions for emotional pull and relation that I've ever seen. There's something about it so linked to our own psyche that not many could escape Death Parade without some deeper thought, even if that deeper thought is just what if. In the same breath, we could also see a question starting to form out of Death Parade. Not one that could ever be truly answered, but one that centuries have been spent upon. What really is a human? What is fundamental to us? This is mostly asked under the umbrella of, how do you properly judge something so complex as a human soul? To do so, you'd have to know what the most important parts of the soul are to determine the real worth of one. And the answer we see from the process of Death Parade is darkness. It's not your good deeds, the time you gave to others, and the achievements you put your time to, but momentary bouts of instinct and survival. The process is logical and cold, something so unbecoming of the illogical creatures we are. There's not much more I want to say since the anime does it better, but if you want that kind of deeper look, Death Parade is exactly where to go. It's a look into what it means to be human in a direct, but not forceful way. It opts to bring you so close to these concepts you have to engage with them, rather than presenting them directly at you. I'll even budge and say it beats my favorite anime of all time, Psychopaths, in that department. If you've seen any of my content before, you know there's not a much stronger recommendation than that. Now, I spent all of our time so far talking to the theme of Death Parade, but don't let that make you think it's lacking anywhere else. The settings are one of the strongest points, whimsical with partial grounding that makes the world feel like a distant dream in the most beautiful way. The cast is similarly stellar. Some are very simple characters, but you'd be hard pressed to find more than one you don't like. It also cheats to make you like them with the most fun and jovial intro of all time that you'll never be able to skip. And to match the beauty of its story, you have the similarly stunning animation you've been seeing this whole time. It's one of the most detailed anime of all time, from the bar to the games to every background. 
Backing this up is a soundtrack that can range anywhere from raw emotion to downright intrigue, and it's always super pleasant. Nothing over these 12 episodes will leave you wanting anything more. Where Bebop was separate stories that connected but never converged, here we see more of a direct line. It's linear and simple, yet deeply engaging due to the new characters, games, and stories almost every episode. This could be considered a masterclass in simplicity and plot, allowing a narrative to shine brightly. A small main cast, a story that never requires a backtrack or a Google, and an absolutely genius reversal of both narrative and show-specific formulas that deserves and will get its own video very soon. Whether you want a personal story to feel along with, an engaging revolving door of individual stories, an introduction to some philosophy, or a discussion piece for multiple people to watch, Death Parade is waiting for you as the most emotional anime experience ever. No doubt in my mind about that statement. While the subject matter can get a bit dark, it never crosses a line and the adult plot points are necessary to the overall narrative and concept. But if I did convince you to watch it here, just make sure you keep a couple hours free after the finale, you'll need them to recover emotionally.